Hey everyone, we're thrilled to take you on a journey through Madrid, showcasing our top picks for things to do in this vibrant city. Madrid, the lively capital of Spain, is steeped in history, art, and culture. With iconic museums, lush parks, and a bustling food scene, we've curated 12 must-see spots in and around the city. Stick around for three essential travel tips at the end to make your visit even smoother. Let's dive in! We're all world travel, and we create travel videos to make your adventures unforgettable. Our first stop is the lively Plaza Mayor, a historical centerpiece of Madrid. Originally built in the early 17th century under King Philip III, this impressive square has hosted markets, bullfights, and public executions. Now it's a bustling hub filled with charming cafes, perfect for enjoying a coffee and soaking in the atmosphere. As a central starting point, it's ideal for exploring the nearby streets, and uncovering the rich history surrounding you. Madrid's central neighborhoods each offer a distinct flavor. In Malasana, known for its role in the Movida Madrilena countercultural movement of the 1980s, you'll find trendy cafes and unique vintage shops. La Latina, with its roots in medieval times, is famous for its lively tapas bars and vibrant nightlife. Lava Pies, historically a working-class area, boasts stunning street art and diverse cuisine, reflecting its multicultural heritage. The literary quarter Barrio de las Letras charms with historical quotes and ties to famous writers like Cervantes and Lope de Vega. Chueca, known for its inclusive spirit, is a vibrant neighborhood that celebrates diversity. Each barrio offers its unique experience, making them all worth a visit. Just a short walk from Plaza Mayor, the San Miguel Market is a must-visit for food lovers. Housed in a stunning early 20th century iron structure, this gourmet haven features over 30 stalls showcasing the best of Spain's culinary delights. From regional cheeses and cured meats to delectable tapas and sweets, it's a feast for the senses. While prices here can be higher, it's a fantastic place to sample local flavors. For more budget-friendly options, explore markets like Tirso de Molina nearby, which offer a more traditional shopping experience. Dominating Madrid's skyline, the Almudena Cathedral stands majestically opposite the Royal Palace. Construction began in 1879 but took over a century to complete, blending neo-Gothic and neo-Romanesque styles. Admire its Gothic vaults, beautiful stained glass windows, and neoclassical facade. Entry to the cathedral is free, but there's a small fee to explore the crypt and museum, which includes an observation deck with stunning city views. Madrid is home to more than 40 museums, covering everything from art to science. The world-renowned Prado Museum, established in 1819, showcases masterpieces by Velázquez Goya and other European masters, reflecting Spain's rich artistic heritage. The lesser-known Museum of Romanticism, set in an 18th-century palace, offers a fascinating glimpse into 19th-century art and decor, highlighting the Romantic era's cultural impact. We've included a list on the screen of other noteworthy museums to explore, ensuring there's something for everyone. For a change of scenery, we recommend a day trip to Toledo, just an hour's drive from Madrid. Known as the city of three cultures, Toledo beautifully blends Christian, Muslim, and Jewish heritage, with landmarks dating back to the Roman Empire. Wander its narrow medieval streets and discover stunning architecture, including the impressive 13th century cathedral. Our favorite activity was soaking in the panoramic views from various scenic viewpoints around the city. Two other historic cities nearby, Segovia and Avila, are also worth exploring. Avila, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is renowned for its well-preserved medieval walls, offering a glimpse into its past as a fortified city. Segovia captivates visitors with its impressive Roman aqueduct, dating back to the first century, and its fairy tale Alcazar, which inspired Disney's Cinderella Castle. Closer to Madrid, Casa de Campo provides a refreshing escape from the city's hustle. Once a royal hunting estate, this vast green oasis is perfect for outdoor activities, with lakeside cafes, cycling paths, and hiking trails. Don't miss the hidden viewpoints scattered throughout the park. Madrid's historic center is a treasure trove of architectural and cultural wonders. Explore grand structures like the Royal Palace. Originally built in the mid-18th century on the site of the old Alcazar, the medieval Plaza de la Villa, and the Egyptian Temple of Debode, a gift from Egypt in 1968. The iconic Plaza de España, with its monument to Cervantes, and the esteemed Teatro Real, an opera house with roots dating back to the 19th century, add to the area's charm. For a deeper understanding of Madrid's rich history, 
consider joining a free walking tour where knowledgeable guides share fascinating stories and insights. To enjoy breathtaking views of the city, visit one of Madrid's rooftop bars. The 360 rooftop bar at the RIU Hotel is popular for its stunning panoramas of the city skyline, while the rooftop at Circulo de Bellas Arte, a cultural center founded in 1880, offers a more relaxed atmosphere with equally impressive views of the newer parts of Madrid. The Royal Palace, located in the western part of the city, is a Baroque masterpiece with over 3,000 rooms, making it the largest functioning royal palace in Europe. Although the royal family no longer resides here, the palace remains a venue for state ceremonies. Inside, you can explore lavishly decorated halls adorned with frescoes, tapestries, and sparkling chandeliers. Remember to book your tickets in advance as they tend to sell out quickly. Madrid is a culinary paradise, offering a diverse range of dining experiences. Beyond traditional tapas bars, you'll find bustling markets, Michelin-starred restaurants, and hidden gems serving regional specialties. We highly recommend joining a food tour like the Tipsy Tapas Tour, which took us to some of the city's best tapas bars. We enjoyed an array of shared dishes paired with local drinks, and our guide provided fascinating insights into the history and culture of Spanish cuisine, highlighting the region's rich culinary traditions. El Retiro Park is one of Madrid's most beautiful green spaces, offering a peaceful escape from the city's bustle. Originally a royal retreat in the 17th century, the park now serves as a popular public space. Explore its many attractions, including the Crystal Palace built in 1887, the Large Pond, Velázquez Palace, and the Rose Garden. Take a leisurely stroll along the tree-lined avenues, rent a rowboat on the picturesque lake, or relax by the ornate fountains. Try to visit on weekdays to avoid the crowds, especially on sunny weekends. As promised, here are three travel tips for your Madrid adventure. First, explore the historic center on foot, as most attractions are conveniently located close to each other. For longer distances, Madrid's metro system is clean, efficient, and affordable. Consider purchasing a 10-ride travel card for great value. Stretch your travel budget by taking advantage of free museum entries. Many world-class museums offer free admission on specific evenings or afternoons. Lastly, consider staying in neighborhoods like Carabanchel for more affordable accommodation options, while still being just a short metro ride away from the city center. We'd love to hear from you. Have you visited Madrid? What was your favorite spot? If you have any tips or recommendations, share them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and let us know which place you're most excited to visit. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an adventure with us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.